Jennifer Jason Lee, a seasoned actress with a career spanning decades, has left an indelible mark on Hollywood. For many, the recognition of her talent and versatility came early on, prompting the question, when was the first time you realized the depth of Jennifer Jason Lee's acting prowess? Beyond the spotlight, there exist lesser known facets of her life that may fascinate enthusiasts. Are there any anecdotes or facts about Jennifer Jason Lee that particularly captivate you? As we delve into the treasure trove of memories associated with this classic Hollywood actor, we invite you to share your most cherished moments or personal experiences in the comments below. Your stories offer a unique perspective on the enduring impact of Jennifer Jason Lee's career. Jennifer Jason Lee, accomplished actress, faced tough competition for pivotal roles throughout her career. One notable instance was when she clinched the lead in The Hudsucker Proxy, triumphing over Winona Ryder and Bridget Fonda. This victory underscored her talent and determination in a competitive industry. Additionally, Lee auditioned for the iconic role of Catwoman in Batman Returns, showcasing her versatility even though she did not secure the part. In her personal life, Jennifer Jason Lee became a mother at 48, welcoming her son Romer Emmanuel Baumbach on March 17, 2010, with then-husband Noah Baumbach. This late motherhood is a testament to her ability to balance career and family. These experiences shed light on Jennifer Jason Lee's resilience and commitment to her craft, navigating both triumphs and challenges. The actress journey in the film industry reflects a tenacity that goes beyond the screen, defining her as a force to be reckoned with. Jennifer Jason Lee's early exposure to the world of cinema left a lasting impact on her. At just 13 years old, she found herself profoundly moved by the film Dog Day Afternoon, considering it the very first movie to stir her emotions. Despite her young age, she watched it repeatedly, marking the beginning of her connection with the art of storytelling on screen. As her career progressed, Lee demonstrated a dedicated commitment to her craft, going to great lengths for authenticity in her roles. One notable instance was her portrayal of an anorexic teenager in the TV movie, The Best Little Girl in the World. To accurately capture the character, she underwent a significant transformation, losing weight down to 86 pounds. This willingness to immerse herself fully in her roles showcased her professionalism and dedication. In the realm of on-set dynamics, Jennifer Jason Lee's collaboration on the film Margaret at the wedding brought an interesting twist. During filming, she lived alongside co-stars Jack Black and Nicole Kidman to perfect their roles as a dysfunctional family. This commitment to realism and authenticity added depth to their performances and highlighted Lee's dedication to her craft. These instances and Jennifer Jason Lee's career underscore her early passion for cinema, her unwavering commitment to character portrayal, and her unique approach to on-set preparation. Each facet contributes to the mosaic of a versatile actress who continues to leave a mark in the film industry. Jennifer Jason Lee's career is marked by intriguing choices and missed opportunities. While shooting Rush, she couldn't meet with Jane Campion, missing a chance for the Holly Hunter role in the piano. Known for turning down various roles, Lee declined a recurring spot on Lost and the role of Brie on Desperate Housewives, filled by Cynthia Watros and Marsha Cross, respectively. In 1997, she took an unexpected turn, appearing in Faith No More's music video Last Cup of Sorrow, inspired by Hitchcock's Vertigo. Lee's career decisions and diverse roles showcase a dynamic artist whose path is marked by both choices made and opportunities passed. Jennifer Jason Lee's distinctive choices in her acting career often reflected her keen insights into scripts. For instance, after reading the script for Backdraft, she candidly expressed to director Ron Howard that she wished she could be the fire because it had the best part. This unique perspective sheds light on her approach to roles and her willingness to engage with the material in a way that goes beyond conventional expectations. In addition to her unconventional take on roles, Jennifer drew inspiration for her second middle name, Jason, from her father's friend, the esteemed actor Jason Robards. This choice reflects a personal connection and a nod to the industry she has been a part of since a young age. However, the path of an actress is not without its missed opportunities. In the film Eyes Wide Shut, Jennifer had a small part as Marion. When director Stanley Kubrick requested reshoots, she was unavailable, leading to her entire part being reshot by Marie Richardson. This episode highlights the challenges and constraints faced by actors in the dynamic world of filmmaking. 
Jennifer Jason Lee's career, marked by intriguing choices and occasional missed opportunities, paints a picture of an actress unafraid to challenge conventions and make bold decisions. Her unique insights into scripts, personal connections to the industry, and the challenges she has faced on set contribute to the mosaic of a versatile artist who continues to leave a mark in the film industry. Well known in Hollywood for the exhaustive research she dedicates to her portrayals and her inclination towards playing intense roles, Jennifer Jason Lee has left an indelible mark on the industry. Her commitment to delving deep into the characters she portrays is evident in her performances, making her a respected figure in Hollywood. Notably, Lee's prowess as an actress was recognized with two 1990 Critics Society Awards for her compelling portrayals. Her roles as Tralala in Last Exit to Brooklyn and Susan Wagoner in Miami Blues earned her accolades from critics, showcasing her versatility and talent. Collaborating frequently with Maverick director Robert Altman, Lee's connection to the industry runs deep. Altman, known for his unconventional approach, had previously worked with her father, Vic Morrow, on the 60s television series Combat. This connection adds a layer of familial history to Lee's career, demonstrating her ties to the industry's roots. In summary, Jennifer Jason Lee's influence in Hollywood goes beyond her on-screen performances. Her commitment to research, award-winning portrayals, and long-standing collaborations with influential directors contribute to a rich tapestry of a versatile artist who has made a lasting impact in the world of cinema. Jennifer Jason Lee's family background adds a layer of complexity to her Hollywood journey. The daughter of actor Vic Morrow and actress-screenwriter Barbara Turner, Lee's connection with the industry is rooted in a familial history. Tragically, Morrow died during the filming of Twilight Zone, the movie in 1983, leaving Lee estranged from him at the time. Despite their distant relationship, Morrow bequeathed her a nominal sum of $100 in his will. Lee's ancestry is of particular interest, being entirely Ashkenazi Jewish. Her paternal grandparents, Harry Morozov and Jean Kress, immigrated from Russia, while her maternal grandfather, Alexander Turner, was an Austrian immigrant. Her maternal grandmother, Pearl Paul and Zizis, was born in New York to Austrian-born parents. This diverse heritage shapes Lee's identity in a unique way, contributing to her multifaceted approach to acting. Beyond her family history, Lee's personal life has also seen intriguing facets. During the 80s, she lived with Eric Stoltz for five years, a period coinciding with her consideration for the role of Veronica in The Fly. Interestingly, Stoltz later portrayed the title character in The Fly Roman 2. The punk band J Church even dedicated a song, Jennifer Jason Lee, with lyrics crafted from interview quotes attesting to her impact on popular culture. These lesser-known aspects of Jennifer Jason Lee's life offer a glimpse into the complexities that have shaped her career. From family dynamics to personal relationships, these details contribute to the mosaic of a versatile artist who has left an indelible mark on Hollywood. As our journey through the cinematic realms nears its end, it's time to pause and reflect on the indelible mark left by a luminary whose artistry has graced screens large and small. Your exploration of Jennifer Jason Lee's compelling performances may have kindled memories, sparked emotions, or evoked reflections on the power of storytelling. As you bask in the afterglow of Lee's cinematic prowess, we invite you to share your musings and recollections. What scenes linger in the corridors of your mind? Which characters have etched themselves onto the canvas of your movie-loving heart? This is your moment to weave your narrative into the rich tapestry of Jennifer Jason Lee's impact on the silver screen. Your insights and anecdotes are the threads that bind us in our shared appreciation for the craft of an actress who has brought nuance, vulnerability, and authenticity to each role she has embraced. The resonance of your experiences adds layers to the tapestry, making it a collective celebration of the art of storytelling. As we bid adieu to this cinematic exploration, we express our gratitude for your time and interest in this reflective journey. May the memories of Jennifer Jason Lee's performances continue to resonate within you, and may the stories she has shared continue to echo in the chambers of your imagination. Thank you for being a part of this cinematic odyssey and for sharing in the magic of Jennifer Jason Lee's contributions to the world of entertainment. Your voice enriches the narrative, making it a vibrant and dynamic tapestry of shared experiences. Appreciatively, the Narrative Architects.